Hi everyone, this is the tutorial video on how to install Autodesk Inventor. First of all, you need to come to the autodesk.com slash education slash free software slash inventor professional and that will get you to this page. This is for educational institutions and it would require you to be a student you will have access to this program for three years. You will need to make an account and sign into that account. So if you do not have an account, click on create account and fill out information for the country or region, which of course we're the United States, very close to the bottom. Uh, there it is, United States. Educational role, choose student. Institution type, high school or secondary. And then, of course, your date of birth, January 29th. And there we go. Then fill in your first name, your email address, confirm the email address and you choose a password. If you have uh, your own email that you are comfortable using and you know the password, you can use that information here. If you do not uh, have a normal email address, you can use the one provided by the school district, and that is your username, your Canvas uh, user number, at rhschools.org. That's R-H-S-C-H-O-O-L-S dot -O -O org. Fill that in and make sure you agree to the terms of use, and you will create an account. Write that name, that uh, username, that email address, and your password down somewhere, because you're going to ask me what it is later, and I don't know. You created it. So make sure it's something you can remember, or at least put it in your phone or put it somewhere that you'll have access to it. So once you have your account set up, it'll ask you to verify your email. So you have to log into your email account and then you can um, click in the email they send you and it will take you back to this page or to a launch page so that you can install Inventor or at the very least sign in. Um, your RH Schools account is a Gmail account. So just go up to, we're in Chrome, so you want to go up to Chrome, and maybe you click here on a new tab, and up here are your Google Apps, and there is your Gmail. So if you're signed in to Chrome, you go up and sign in. I have a couple of different Chrome accounts. You sign in to your Chrome account. So here's mine for rhschools.org. And you see here, rhschools.org. So if I sign in here and I go to a new tab and I click on my Google Apps, here's my Gmail for rhschools.org. And yours will do the same thing. So let's close that out. Now we're back here. You want to sign in. And now that you're signed in, you should see up here where it says sign in, it should turn to a little blue icon. That's how we know you're in the right place. Now we're going to choose license type. There's a couple of different choices here. You can do personal or individual use if you are just one person. But since we're a school, we're going to deploy without server. And then the version we're downloading is the newest one. So this year it's 2020. 
operating system, you only have one choice, Windows 64-bit. And the language is English. And now you see the serial number and the product key. You're going to need that information, I believe. Um, if something goes wrong or if you installed the, the uh, personal use version, you'll get a 30-day free trial. At the end of that 30 days, you're going to have to type this information in. So if you want to take a screenshot of this or whatever you need to do, we'll need to be able to come back to that later. And now we go to download at the bottom. Download now. Open Autodesk Download Manager. Sure. Let's do that. Now, at home, it shouldn't be as big a problem downloading as we have in class sometimes because your home uh, internet connection doesn't have three different firewalls like the school's does. So hopefully it won't be as uh, big of a headache to download it. And so this is going to go through an installation process and it can take a while. So I'll come back when we're ready for the next step. Okay, the next little menu pops up, save download, and click OK. We're creating, this is basically just asking for authorization to create a new folder on your hard drive. And here is the Autodesk Download Manager. We're not doing this one, this was canceled, that was 2017, that was a long time ago. This is the one you should see. And don't worry about the length of time that it says. Mine says four hours and 27 minutes remaining. Um, and now it says 19 minutes remaining. So it's just going to fluctuate back and forth. So don't worry about the time that's on there. It's probably going to take about 45 minutes total to do this. And once again, I'll be back for the next step. Okay, so it's taken about, I don't know, 30 minutes or so, and it's downloaded the whole program as you see here, and then this window popped up, and you can click install, but it's already running. It's automatically going to start installing the software once it's downloaded it. It looks like it's a 10.6 gigabyte program, so that's a, that's a very large program, that's why it took so long to download. And you'll be on this screen for a little while. And then it, there will be some questions along the way. So this is where you really start having to pay attention. So here's the first question. Create deployment? No. Install tools and utilities? No. We want to install here. So click the big button on the far right. Click install. It's going to ask you a few more questions along the way. So you just want to make sure that you're checking on it every so often so you can keep it moving. Here's the license agreement. Just click I accept and next. And then we are doing the professional version. So leave it as professional. Next. Autodesk Inventor Content Libraries. You definitely need the content libraries. Now mine's already installed. Yours won't be. Um, so you want 2020 and the content libraries. Now yours may take longer. Like I said, this program was installed once I deleted it so that, um, I could record this video and show you how to install it. So there may be small little programs that have already been installed. Like on, uh, down here you see 10 of 11 remaining. I don't know if yours says 10 of 11, but it's going to have 10 programs 
left to install. So look at some of the, all, all of the artwork you're seeing here was created in Inventor. Now, granted, we're not doing anything near this complex, but uh, you can create some some pretty pretty impressive um, drawings and sketches and um, assemblies. All right, I'll check back in um, as soon as the installation, or if we come up to another question, I'll stop and make sure I highlight that. Otherwise, I'm going to pause the recording and fast forward. Okay, it looks like we're getting close to the end here of the installation process. You'll notice how I'm down to one of 11 remaining, and it is installing. It's almost done with the big package. This is the whole process has taken probably an hour, maybe a hair more. It may be quicker on your computers if you have younger computers than mine, and you probably don't have near as many uh, application programs uh, and software packages as I have on mine. So your computer's a lot less cluttered, and therefore it may speed up the installation process. see how much longer it takes all right I think we're in the final phase now uh, the language pack is installing pretty rapidly and you'll notice that I'm down to zero of 11 remaining so this should be the last the last piece of software installed and don't forget the first time you open inventor it's gonna take probably a minute or three to, to boot the program it's going to take a little while because it has to, um, you know, re it has to install certain aspects and it has to, um, there's so many different programs that have to be running in the background for the software to work. So do anticipate that it won't boot up fast. Okay, so during the installation process toward the end, I got this message, but it didn't show up right away. I had to go to uh, my window bar and I noticed there was an error message down here so I clicked on it and evidently I had this program that's recording the screenshot right now uh, it was running in the background and it said it needed to shut down the DLL host um, because it may prevent it from registering properly so basically the bottom line if you have Microsoft Word or PowerPoint or any of those large programs open You'll need to close those for this final bit of the software to install. Once I did that, it um, installed within about two minutes. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, and now we come to the screen here. You've successfully installed the selected products. So these are the products that we want. Hopefully you have those. Um, and then I click finish. And down here it says Autodesk desktop app that's not necessary what I really want to make sure I see is the Autodesk Inventor professional 2020 icon now I know some of the district uh, restrictions on laptops it may not give you an icon so what we need to do is we need to go down to the bottom to where it has the window button or just push the window button on your keyboard you'll scroll to the A's Autodesk Inventor 2020 and then you can find the what we want, which is the program, right click, pin to start, which will put it here. Or if you go to more, you can pin to the taskbar, which will put it down here at the bottom. That may be your best bet to have it right down here, kind of like where I have my PowerPoint in my Adobe Acrobat icons. Pin to taskbar. I'm going to do it. And there it is. Now I can drag it over here so I don't accidentally open such a large program without meaning to. And that should do it. You've now installed Inventor. 
and you can follow the step-by-step -step videos for each of the activities that we have uh, that we're responsible for in uh, IED. Okay, we'll see you next time.